Hello students welcome back to engineering mathematics i hope you are fine today we are going to solve one of the questions of laplace inverse transformations and this question was asked by one of the subscribers so the question says find the laplace inverse of 2s plus 1 divided by s minus 1 into s minus 2 into s minus 3 to find the laplace inverse of this question we have many approaches but the approach that i prefer is i will uh partially factorize the denominator okay so let's do it so i write solution to s plus 1 divided by s minus 1 into s minus 2 into s minus 3 okay now we need to partially factorize it so how many terms would be in RHS? Three terms because we have three terms in the denominator. One, two, and three. And all the terms will be separated by a plus sign. Okay, fine. Denominator, first term denominator will be S minus one. Second will be S minus two. And the third will be S minus three. Now the question arises, what are you going to put in the numerator of the first term, second, and third? It depends upon the denominator as I said denominator here is a linear polynomial so whenever the denominator is a linear polynomial we put a variable in the numerator okay so the power of s is 1 so it's a linear polynomial so I will put a this one is a linear polynomial as well I will put B in the numerator and this one I'll put C you can put anything okay any Latin alphabet or Greek alphabet or English alphabet so now the question arises uh, what if we had the power of s as 2 or what if the denominator is a quadratic polynomial at that time we use another form that's b s plus c or a s plus c okay but since we have our denominator is s or its power is 1 it's a linear polynomial so in the numerator we'll put a which is a variable okay now we have completed this thing now what we do is we eliminate the denominator in the LHS multiplying this equation let me name this equation as equation 1 okay okay it's 1 so multiplying multiplying equation 1 by the denominator okay that's s minus 1 s minus 2 and s minus 3 okay so this will give me s plus 1 is equal to this thing will give me a s minus 2 s minus 3 okay plus b s minus 1 s minus 3 and then plus c s minus 1 s minus 2 okay so we have eliminated the denominator as well now this is the most important step that I'm going to tell you but before that I will name this equation as well okay let me name this as equation 2 since we have named equation 1 here okay you can name this equation as a b c d or anything as I mentioned so the most important step is uh, we have to give the values here of s put any values of s so that we get the values of our variables that's a b and c okay now according to this equation if i give value first value to s as one this thing this term will become zero obviously this term will also become zero because one minus one will be zero and c into zero and this in zero would be all zero and i will get the value of a okay so put it depends upon you whatever your equation is okay you have to get the values of s so that you get a b or c this is the first step so put s is equal to 1 now since I have put s is equal to 1 in equation 2 now the RHS sorry the LHS would become 3 okay obviously and this term will be 0 this term will be 0 this term will become minus 1 this will become minus 2 this will be 2 2a 
which implies a will be always and always equal to 3 divided by 2 so we got the value of a okay now we need to find the value of b as well so can we find the value of b yes we can if we put s is equal to 2 this term will be 0 this term will also be 0 and we will be left with this term okay so we'll get the value of b so let's do this put s is equal to 2 into in equation 2 great so when i put 2 this will give me 2 to the 4 and plus 1 is 5 rhs okay and lhs will give me what it will give me this term will be 0 this term will be 0 and this term will be how much 2 minus 1 is 1 and minus so it will be minus b okay which implies b is equal to minus 5 one and the same thing so we got the value of b as well now we need to find the value of c now how can we find the value of c by by putting value of s is equal to 3 okay so when we put value of s equal to 3 this term would eventually be a 0 this term also and we'll be left with this term and this term obviously won't be 0 and we could calculate the value of c okay so i will put s is equal to 3 in 2 in equation 2 okay so it will be 7 3 to the 6 plus 1 is 7 from the rhs okay now which is equal to equal to and uh, this will be definitely 3 minus 1 is 2 okay so 3 minus 1 is 1 2 c okay this will become 2 c which implies c is equal to 7 by 2 so i got the value of a i got the value of b and i got the value of c so what will i do you have to first remember you are doing this in order to partialize or uh, factorize the denominator since you have done it so you need to put these values back in our equation one okay and take laplace inverse subsequently on both sides so i will take another page So put these values of a, b, c in equation 1. So what's equation 1? Equation 1 is 2 s minus 1 divided by s minus 1, s minus 2 and s minus 3. Great. And is equal to a divided by s minus 1. So a, the value of a is 3 divided by 2. So I have write 3 divided by 2 divided by s minus 1 i can write into 1 divided by s minus 1 okay so then it will be a value of b b is equal to minus 5 it will be minus and that will be 5 1 divided by s minus 2 okay then it will be plus c c will be 7 divided by 2 and 1 divided by s minus 3 got it and i will take laplace inverse on both the sides laplace inverse of this thing and laplace inverse of this thing one and the same thing right so we have saved one step now we actually know the formulas of these things do you remember yes 3 divided by 2 okay now i have laplace inverse of uh, this function so according to linearity property you can write in exams as well uh, if you are writing subject to exam so according to linearity property this laplace inverse will be uh, distributed in all the terms okay so now we are doing here two steps together okay now laplace inverse will be given to this term as well this term as well as this term okay and subsequently 3 divided by 2 is a constant so it will come out of laplace inverse so 3 divided by 2 comes out then remains laplace inverse of 1 divided by s minus 1 great 5 will come out it's constant laplace inverse of 1 divided by s minus 2 and 7 divided by 2 comes out laplace inverse of 1 divided by s minus 3 so 
this should become 3 divided by 2 laplace inverse of 1 divided by s minus 1 is e power t okay minus 5 laplace inverse of 1 divided by s minus 2 is e power 2t and plus 7 divided by 2 laplace inverse of 1 divided by s minus 3 is e power 3t so this is the laplace inverse of our question okay now uh, i need to give i need to share one of the tricks that i use while finding the laplace inverse of any function okay right now we have a function here laplace inverse of 1 divided by s minus 1 another function this one and another function this one so uh, now you'll be wondering how did i simply write e power t e power 2t and e power 3t so remember one thing whenever there is laplace inverse suppose laplace inverse of 1 minus 1 okay what you need to do is here is laplace inverse of 1 divided by s is 1 obviously okay but we are given with 1 divided by s minus 1 so there is a function multiplied to this one that makes our s become s minus 1 and that function is clearly e power t so e power t into 1 is e power t that's why i wrote e power t instead of this now taking this example 1 divided by s minus 2 and it's laplace inverse of this function so 1 divided by s is 1 okay and but we have s minus 2 that means there's a function multiplied to this one which makes s s minus 2 okay and that function is e power 2t got it and similarly you can find the laplace inverse of 1 divided by s minus 3 now suppose if it was 1 divided by s plus 2 in that situation what you do is same trick 1 divided by s is 1 this one we don't know but that function makes our s become s plus 2 and that function is clearly e power minus 2t here it was e power e power plus 2t here is e power minus 2t okay so subsequently you can use this trick in every question i hope you got it so uh, if you want to see more videos uh, please mail me or you can uh, simply uh, write in the comments below uh, okay thank you